Hi everyone, I'm Sonia Trivedi, comms manager here at Muro, and we are at the second half of day number one of Muro Mood Global 2023. I have really interesting guests with me today, Stefan Urena, Chief Data and AI Officer at Essex Business School. Hi Stefan, how are you doing today? Hi Sonia, I'm fine, thanks. How is the mood in Muro Mood Global here so far? Very good. Uh, it's always a pleasure to be here. Perfect. Thank you for that. And you had really interesting presentation just a few minutes ago named using Moodle Analytics to predict student success. Could you please tell me a little bit more about that? I understood you have really interesting use case about Moodle Analytics. So if you can elaborate, that uh -huh. would be great. Well, we used uh, Moodle Analytics, which is a brick that is inside Moodle. And uh, we just have to, it's a user-friendly interface that you can use in order to choose some machine learning models in order to uh, evaluate or predict uh, students at risk of failing in their online course. And so in a few, in a few clicks, uh, you can you know, deploy those algorithms and they make predictions and they give you a list of students at risk for a, a given course. And then you can contact those students and uh, after that, uh, uh, you, you will reduce um, the, the risk for them to, to, to fail. Really interesting. So uh, I'm curious to know a little bit more insights on the project, like how did you implement it, over what period of time, if you can tell mm -hmm. us more. Well, we spent a few weeks uh, trying to evaluate the solution uh, with a, a consultant uh, that we hired in order to develop some specific metrics uh, for, machine, for machine learning, so precision and recall uh, and confusion metrics in order to see what was inside the, the, the platform because when you use the platform, you only see the result of a statistical uh, metric which, which name is F1 score and we wanted to see more. So we developed extra metrics uh, in a few weeks and saw the performances of the algorithms as we wanted, let's say one month because we were working remotely with a consultant. And then when we were satisfied by the results, we launched uh, on new courses directly uh, this, uh, this feature in order to predict students at risk and, and trying to limit this uh, number. Okay, good. I want to ask you a little bit more about the results of the project. But before we get there, can you tell our audience a little bit more about Asset Business School? Like you implemented the project, how many courses, how many students, yes. that kind of things? Um, Essex Business School is a top business school in, uh, in Europe, one of the most renowned. Um, and so we, we, we launched uh, th that project on four courses last year, uh, which involved uh, more than 1,000 students. Uh, and uh, we are planning to run it for all our online courses this year. Okay. And you mentioned some figures during your presentation. Can you share some of them here? Like what were the results? How many students uh, were impacted by this? Among, we had more than 1,000 students involved in the course. Yeah. We, we had um, a few hundreds that were at risk. Uh, and so we were able to contact them uh, and try to reduce the, the number of students that uh, uh, were failing. We are carrying out uh, right now some A-B tests in order to measure the statistical significance of what we are carrying out right now. So we'll be able to give some figures, I hope, uh, by the end of the year. Okay, so no figures for now. Well, <laughs> we uh, well I have figures uh, uh, for the machine learning algorithms. So the precision uh, was around 82 and the recall 76. So that means that we are able, we're able to uh, detect uh, more than 75% more than 75 of the students that are really going to fail and we are able to um, contact um, more than 80% uh, of students that are really going to fail, so less than 20% of false alerts. So it's something that is quite robust and uh, valuable because you don't have a lot of false alerts and in the same time you don't miss a lot of students that are really failing. Impressive, impressive. We will look forward to know more about your results and more about uh, the things you achieve from this project. And last but not least, I want to ask you, how important is predictive analytics for forming data-driven pedagogical strategies in modern education? 
Well, it's uh, really important uh, when you have to address uh, thousands of students. Uh, a teacher cannot address all of them uh, like in a, like in a classroom. It's not it's not possible. You cannot follow them, especially for courses that last weeks or months. You you cannot know exactly what what they are doing, what is their pace, etc. So it is fundamental to deploy those methods today in order to have um, not only just a modern approach, but in order to have uh, impact, real impact on your students, uh, make sure that they succeed. Uh, and, uh, and it's something that is uh, decisive uh, in this perspective. Thank you, Stefan. I wish you a great time here at Muromut 2023 and see you soon. Thank you. Thank you very much.